We love having people come to visit this spectacular coastline. We just want to make sure that they go home safe and sound. Glad to see this marker being dedicated today. Hope people will pause, take that extra moment to learn, to reflect, and to act for their own safety. Whether it's the rocky or, uh, Oregon coast or if it's the sandy beaches, and when it comes to that, the high tide can really dictate how much beach is there for people to play on. So that's kind of one of the strong messages I pass on to anyone here looking to enjoy our beaches is understanding the tide and taking that five minutes after you get out of your car and kind of get an idea of what's going on, what's the waves doing, how you know, what's the count of it, you know, is the area that you're going to be playing at if it's high tide, you know, is that going to shrink? Because I've seen a lot of people get trapped in areas on the beach where uh, where it seemed like it was plenty of space, but with that high tide coming in, sure it surprised them. <laughs> A sense of like community that I feel can never be broken. Um, I just know that you know, no matter where I go, like I'll be thinking of them, and I'll be thinking of my classmates and everybody affected. And I don't know, I'll just take away these people, honestly. Uh, I still think that the ocean is beautiful, just as I always did. I'm just a lot. I respect it, and as we all should. And I'm doing my best to raise awareness of the dangers and the strength of the ocean, because it's something we should all be aware of. Well, the marker has bullet points on it, but the real thing is people have heard before, you know, face the ocean, know the tide level, but it's really about looking out for each other. A community had to come together for this project to happen, and so the community should come together to help each other out. So if you see someone on the rocks, the marker says speak up to those you think are taking risks, and if you are the one taking risks, 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 you should listen, you know? It's about everyone helping each other out and looking at, looking out for each other so that this doesn't happen again. Well, I mean, the day that I was here at the coast, we were walking down on the beach over there, and, you know, as we were walking, the tide was getting higher, and I was wearing my Uggs, which, you know, aren't supposed to get wet. And so I had this thought run through my head that, you know, the tide's kind of high, maybe my Uggs will get wet. And then I had this conscious thought, no, that's not going to happen to me. And then, you know, hours later, you know, we're sitting around going, oh my God, the absolute worst did happen to them. And young people have this brazen, I can, you know, take on the world, I can do anything, I'm invincible. And I mean, I, I thought that, and I think this experience has made me realize that I'm not invincible and I do need to be careful and that it can happen to me. And I think the younger people can learn that, <laughs> the better off they're going to be in the long run.